What is going on lads? Welcome back to some Foot Champions Reward Pack. So, you'll be able to see what we got in just a moment, but before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. There will be a Foot Champions live stream, hopefully tomorrow, depending on when I get my train to the Foot Champions event, but I, I may be able to squeeze one in in the morning, so I hope hopefully you guys will be ready and pumped for that. But let's get into today's video. So the boys, this is a team that we used in the past week. It managed to get us 33 wins, which is unfortunate. The gameplay was absolutely terrible on the Sunday, so I lost a couple of games, which I really, really shouldn't have. And I really should have got Elite 1. But sometimes, you know, the cookie the cookie grumbles, we didn't get what we wanted. But this is what we're rocking right now. I don't know what I really want to change. I did try and use a different version of De Gea. We felt almost as bad as the normal version, so I went back to the normal. But yeah, who should I try out this weekend? Let me know in the comments. But without further ado, for Champions Week Elite Rewards are here. Let's go. Let's see what we can get this week. So we got 100,000 coins, 100k pack, and a premium team of the week pack. But before we just jump into it and open the rewards straight away... I only know one player that's in Team of the Week this week, and that's Pog... Oh, my Lord. I've just seen Dybala and Ericsson as well. Okay. So, this Team of the Week potentially is absolutely insane. How has Will Grigg got an 84 rated card? What? So, you got Pookie, Will Grigg. Balotti card looks good. Danny Welbeck. Yeah. That card, though. Oh, the beast. Poor Pogba. If we can get that card this week, I'll be absolutely buzzing with that. 92 dribbling, 91 physical, 92 passing. Absolute goat. I'd try him out. This If I packed him, I would try him out. 92 Ericsson as well. Looks like a good card, but right mid. Eh, bit on the offside, but then that Dybala and Depay card. Is, whee! That's a really nice Depay card as well. I rate that. But that Dybala card looks sick. Okay, you know what? Team of the Week looked absolutely insane. So let's just get straight into the packs for today's episode. And then I'm going to sort of have a look at the team afterwards and see what we can hopefully get out. So... Jumbo Rare Player Pack number one. Can we get something good out of the 100k pack this week? I mean, it's nothing too great recently, but we've got another board drop at least. Rather than having no board drop, which we got a couple of weeks back. And it's a German central midfielder from Manchester City. It is Ilkay Gundogan. So, 85. Not bad. That's better than what we've got in recent weeks. He'll probably be selling for a little bit right now because the 98 Pele has just arrived with us. But what else can we get in the pack with Gundogan? Mm, absolutely nothing. Brilliant. Okay, so is there anything in the duplicates or anything? No, that wow, not even one duplicate and all these players absolutely dead. Okay, not a bad 100k pack. Going to run myself for like 15, 20k, but it uh, could have been a little bit better. Okay, let's just discard the rest and hopefully get a Paul Pogba out of this pack. Come on, give me something good, EA. Come on, hook me up with the French flag with Paul Pogba inside of it. You did it when, when Salah was in packs. Now can you do it for when Pogba's in? Belgian. Belgian? Oh, Thorgan Hazard, okay. 84. Okay, not fantastic, really. He's got good stats. I mean, 87 dribbling, 83 shooting, 84 passing, 84 pace. Not exactly a bad card, but that, I mean, we've missed out on some of the big ones yet again. Would have been nice to have that second Team of the Week pack this week, but we got Paul Easter, Adler, and Hazard. So, yeah, again, a pretty average Team of the Week pack. We'll probably make about 50k or something like that off these cards, realistically. We'll have a quick look how much Thorgan Hazard's going for at the moment. And it's in around the 20,000 coin mark, yeah. So then we'll probably get this guard for Paul Easter and Adler as well. So not too bad, but not exactly great. Right, so to give you guys a quick update. So those are the packs that we've got this week. I'm not really sure how much money we're going to have. We're probably going to have about 450,000 coins to use in the team. So this is the team that we were using last weekend. I did swap out uh, the one to watch Walker that I did purchase last week for the red Aurier. Now, I really enjoyed this card when I bought him. Um, and now, obviously, because I got his red card, I may as well just use him at right back. And I'm not actually playing 4-1-2-1-2 anymore. I used 4-4-2. I really, really did enjoy using it. I've played a few pros over the past couple of weeks as well. And I've also enjoyed using it there too. So the way that I rock in game, De Bruyne goes out to the left-hand side, which you guys are probably like, what? Surely that's a waste at left mid, but De Bruyne is an absolute monster at left mid, even still. He probably would be better at, like, a cam, like, number 10 position or something like that, but De Bruyne still plays like an absolute tank either way. So we have both Ronaldo's up top. They obviously do bits. Hollett and Vieira, pretty much the perfect midfield in a 4-4-2, because when you're playing a 4-4-2, you really need a, a sick player in every single position for it to work properly for you. That's why I've got Neymar on the right, De Bruyne on the left, both five-star weak foot players, so if I cut inside or if I go on the outside with De Bruyne, I know they're obviously going to be able to produce a banging shot or a cross, that sort of stuff, and if Neymar cuts in on his left, Vice versa, banging shot and stuff like that. And honestly, I really like the balance of how this works, if I'm perfectly honest. So this is the way that I'm going to do it again. So I just want, I don't know, I just feel like trying out some new players. What I might do, I might even try and do the lone Pele. 
um, and then try him out, keep De Bruyne on the bench uh, this for like the first 20 games this weekend. We'll see how we do. I definitely want to try that Pele out. At the moment, I think it costs like 50k to do him. So I might even do it on this video here and get him into the team. Just look at that card though. 95 pace, 96 dribbling, 96 shooting, 93 passing. Is that the highest icon that we've ever had? Uh, I'm not too sure. But this is like the concepts god that I made from it. So what I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to quickly buy this. What I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to quickly buy up all these players that I've got in this concept squad. Get the Pele, put him in the team, show you how, show you guys how it's going to look. And then hopefully we'll be able to rock him in the stream tomorrow and over the episodes over the weekend. To see how good this Pele card actually is. Right, so we've just gone ahead and bought the last player, Adarice. So now we're going to get that 98 Pele to use over this weekend. So it's an 84 rated squad. It cost me about 50k. Which, you know what, to try out a 98 rated card for you guys to see how good this card actually is. And see if it worked well in my team. I think it's worth it, if I'm perfectly honest with you. So there we go. Pele, loan, completed. I don't even know how many Pele's we're going to see this weekend. But oh my lord. 98 Pele. Look at oh, just have a look at his attributes. Look, oh my days. 95 acceleration. He's even got 76 strength, which isn't too bad. Just look at it. Absolutely like insane. 98 finishing. 97 vision. 98 reactions. 97 ball control. 98 composure. Looks like an absolute beast. He's even got 88 jumping and everything. What an absolute oh, I, I love Pele. If I can get this card potentially during team of the season, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Right. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I am going to drop De Bruyne to the bench. I may even drop Neymar to the bench for certain games. You never know. But the way that we'll start the games, I'll just go back to my original formation. Um, just because this gives me like the most chemistry as far as I'm aware. Um, but the way we do it is we stick Ronaldo in this position here. No, no not like that there. Okay, so we're back to the normal position there. Obviously, we're going to bring the boy Pele in. So it costs us about 50k, which isn't too bad. But I would love to try Pele and Ronaldinho in the same team. Oh, my God. Okay, Pele's in. Right, so I just have to quickly go to the transfer market just so I can get a cam to centre forward for Pele. And now we're going to make him a striker in our team. It looks like an absolute beast. I'm going to use him this weekend. So I'm going to use him in the 4-4-2 yet again. Is he four-star? Is he... Okay, so he's got four-star weak foot, five-star skill. So what I'll probably end up doing, I'll probably put Pele on the right and Neymar on the left. Just so if I do end up having to go on the left-hand side, Neymar can do that a little bit better than what Pele would do. Just because of that four-star weak foot. But this is the way we're going to rock in the weekend this week. Make sure to smash the like if you did enjoy the video today. Subscribe if you do. Drop me a comment if you guys are going to do Pele. And, and hopefully Pele is going to be an absolute beast for us in the Foot Champs games. See you in the next episode, boys. Peace.